Spoon's last stand. The best bet in dog soldiers. It's funny how your mind plays tricks on you. When I watched dog soldiers again recently, Spoon's last stand played differently from what I remember. It's not one whole scene, but several. Spread through a terrific third act sequence. Let's recap. When the squaddies blow up the local barn, Megan reveals her true nature and the werewolves storm the house. Sergeant Cooper make it up the stairs, but Spoon is forced into the kitchen. What follows is a brilliant exercise in set design and editing. First one character is peeled off, and then Cooper realises that he and Sarge have been split up as well. The constant banging and rattling of the werewolves at the doors creates a tremendous amount of tension. Cuts between the struggles of all three characters engage the viewer and create a sense of surprise when a werewolf hand breaks through. The use of time here is also excellent. Spoon's door is the first to break, then Sarge's, and finally Cooper's. It's a neat way of foreshadowing each of the characters' fates, while also ratcheting the tension. We haven't seen these parts of the house before either, giving things a freshness. Then there's several laugh out loud moments. Sarge using his makeshift flamethrower while shouting go away is absurdity at its finest. His line to Cooper when they finally break through into the other bedroom is a cracker as well. Let's get in the wardrobe son. But the best bit is Spoon's last stand. Great dialogue and early scenes like the campfire segment humanise the characters and make this bit all the more tragic. Spoon knows that the situation is bone, but he can't kill the creature he's confronted by. But watching him curse and use his fists, a random knife, even cutlery and plates off a dresser, he can't help rooting for him. Then there's the frying pan. That hey ya as he wheels it above his head is totally brilliant. And then the werewolf knocks it from his hand and he's pitched against the wall. His immortal last words right before he's eaten, I hope I give you the shits, you fucking wimp. What a legend. Marshall had originally envisaged a much more graphic end for Spoon, literally being ripped in two by the werewolves. He makes the right choice here, putting the camera on the dog as the two go to work on their meal. Is this dog soldier's best bet? Let me know what you think in the comments. And whatever you do, don't be a fucking wimp. Hit that subscribe button.